Welcome back to a brand new transfer video on the Blues Focus YouTube channel. It has certainly been an exciting few days and it doesn't seem like it's going to slow up anytime soon before the end of the window. So firstly, let's start with the biggest story so far this transfer window and that is the signing of the South Korean international Paek Sung Ho or Sung Ho Paek, which I think is the English pronunciation. So we spoke about him in the previous video, but since then it has been confirmed and we have given him a two and a half year contract, keeping him at St Andrews till 2026. So the 26 year old midfielder had interest from all over Europe, but he was determined to come to England to play his football and West Midlands for Birmingham City was his chosen destination. So Paik Sung Ho has actually had a really good career in terms of consistency and the amount of games he has played for numerous clubs around Europe but especially in his home nation of South Korea. So so far Paik Sung Ho has made 15 international appearances scoring three goals in that time and of course including that amazing wonder strike against Brazil in the World Cup. So 10 months after the World Cup he actually won the Asian Games so he has some experience in some big tournaments and he knows how to put a shift in big games so what a signing this is. So Peg Sunko has made his career playing in the number eight position of midfield and he looks like to be the position that we've been crying out for for numerous years especially in the recent years that player that transitions defense into the attack we have spoke about it many times already in this January transfer window and this looks like it will be the signing to do that because even from a few of the highlights that we have seen from the K-League or for South Korea, he always looks to pick the ball up from the defence, turns and looks to go forward. And I think that is the position and the player that we need, especially under Tony Mowbray, because, you know, that's what we seem to be missing currently, that player to start the transition, that link and get us going forward fast and effectively. And I think Paik Sung Ho is quality, and quick thinking in the centre midfield position is going to be a great asset for the next two and a half years. So what a signing this is. So the next player that we have discussed a few times already on the transfer roundups. But this story seems to be going back and forth over the last couple of days. But it does seem to be heading in our favour and it looks to be all agreed. And I'm guessing it will come down to the final day unless we announce it very soon. But Alex Pritchard, you know, we have spoke about him a lot of times and what he could bring to a Tony Mowbray team. And it did look like Sunderland offered him a new contract and we thought that was going to be it. He weren't going to leave and come to Blues. But after that apparent contract extension from Sunderland, apparently Alex Pritchard actually expressed his desire to leave the club. And this could be linked to coming back to Tony Mowbray, you know, or we just wanted to leave Sunderland as the club and look for somewhere else in England and Maybe this just felt perfect timing. So yeah, like I said, this story has been a lot of back and forth, but apparently a deal has now been confirmed, which will see Alex Pritchard join Blues on a two and a half year deal for just £100,000. What a steal that could be, you know. It seems to be a mixed response, but a 30-year-old with... A lot, a lot of championship experience and has some quality. He knows the Mowbray system. And for 100 grand, you know, even if it's just for the last six months, but I think he'll be a good squad player for the next two and a half years. And definitely, definitely a bring in that we should all be excited for if this is going to be the business going forward. So he does say Alex Pritchard will receive a significant pay rise, but you've got to remember Sunderland signed Alex Pritchard when they were in League One. So his actual wage probably wasn't that high. So he probably was looking to leave for higher money and Sunderland weren't in a position to give him that sort of money. But I think we're not going to be stupid with our money anymore, but just seeing a few fans worrying about. But I do think he has received the pay rise, but he could have been on six, seven thousand. And when we've got players like Sonjic over fifteen thousand, you know, I think Alex Pritchard does a slot somewhere in between them prices. So overall, like I said, I think for hundred grand and whether he's on ten grand a week. You know, I do think it will be a great signing. So yeah, all in all, Alex Pritchard to Birmingham City isn't fully announced yet, but it does look like it'll be confirmed or it could go right down to the wire. 
So since the last video, we have had two very exciting transfer rumours. So on my first ever transfer video, I expressed the need, the desperate need to sign a new goalkeeper, whether that was January or the summer, because all of our goalkeepers are out of contract and they're not been performing the best either. So we are desperate for a new goalkeeper in January, but definitely we'll be without one in the summer and we don't want to be leaving it that late because that could go very, very wrong. So Blues have shown interest in the 21-year-old goalkeeper, Sam Tickle. So he's been Wigan's first choice goalkeeper this year and he has made 25 appearances for Wigan Athletic. So we are going to be fighting a lot of clubs for the signature of Sam Tickle. He has definitely had a lot of interest from the championship, but it was also rumoured that Everton were looking at the young goalkeeper. So obviously, like I said, this would be a massive, massive signing. And even if it's not Sam Tickle, we really need to be looking at a young ball-playing goalkeeper to really build this squad from the back. And I really do think a player like Sam Tickle will bolster the whole defence. And, you know, having him being confident on the ball as well would literally take us to the next level. So the next rumour is potentially the lone signing of Rak Saki. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So similar to Sam Tickle, there are a lot of competition to get this loan signing from Crystal Palace. You know, the 21-year-old tricky winger has already expressed his talent in League One with Charlton Athletic. In the 22-23 campaign, he actually scored 15 goals for Charlton and getting the player of the season. So he's shown he can do it in English football. He hasn't yet made that step up to the Premier League. So a low move to a championship team is definitely what's needed for both his career and for Crystal Palace. So he has actually made six appearances so far this season, all from the bench of Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace. So he doesn't look like he's going to be in the plans as such. But I'm sure Raksaki himself, as well as Crystal Palace, really want this youngster to have some serious game time. And the best place to do that is the championship. So a low move does look very promising for the youngster. Whether that will be Birmingham, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, that's all for today's transfer room roundup. And honestly, it has been a pretty crazy few days and I'm sure transfer deadline day, there's going to be stories left, right and centre. But hopefully we can get one or two over the line. And yeah, all of this does actually get me quite excited for the summer because I think it's going to be an amazing rebuild with some serious money spent and talent, hopefully. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be just after deadline day. But yeah. Good signing so far.